I'm Garnet, this is Eggs. Orimo, short for Orimo Imoto ga konna ni kawaii wake ga nai, which in English is translated to My Little Sister Can't Be This Cute, is a rom com harem made by AIC Build. Am I supposed to pronounce that in some way or just say the letters? I don't know, but it's made by them. For the first season in 2010, and A1 Pictures for the second season in 2013. It's based on a light novel written by Tsukasa Fushimi and illustrated by Hiro Kanzaki. Manga exists as well. For the anime, I have watched both seasons, all of the specials, all of the animated commentary, all of it. I've seen everything. I've seen too much. Kyosuke Kosaka is a teenage boy who is pretty normal. He has an also teenage younger sister, Kiruno Kosaka, who seems to be a perfect girl with good looks, good grades, an overachiever in every way. However, Kyosuke finds out that Kiruno has been keeping a big secret from everybody. She is an otaku who is obsessed with stuff like magical girl anime and little sister Iroge. The little sister as a thing for little sisters. She has a... <laughs> she has a whole huge collection of this stuff hidden in a secret closet in her bedroom. Kyosuke helps her keep this part of her secret even though she treats him like garbage and doesn't deserve his help. My opinions are leaking. And she asks him to give her life counseling, which apparently to her is her forcing him to actually play the Iroge. These two make a variety of friends, including some other otaku, and there sure are a lot of pretty girls around Kyosuke now that are not his sister. Characters Kyosuke Kosaka, a normal boy who is too forgiving towards his sister. Hino Kosaka, the spawn of Satan, a seemingly perfect girl who is actually an otaku and treats people bad. She works as a model. Rudy Goko, or Kuro Neko, best girl, an otaku with a ch I'm okay. <laughs> an otaku with a shunibyo thing going on, dressing as one of her favorite characters, and talks about having dark powers. She prefers dark edgy anime over the kind of cutesy moe anime that Kiruno likes. She makes friends with Kiruno and Kyosuke, but she and Kiruno argue a lot over their clashing interests. Sayori Makashima, a rich girl who created an online community called Otaku Girls Unite, which both her friends Kiruno and Kuroneko are a part of. She likes Justine, which is a parody of Gundam. Second best girl, Manami Tamura, Kyosuke's childhood friend who clearly has a crush on him. She's a very plain, gentle girl who Kyosuke thinks is like an old lady in a young girl's body. Grandma Zoned, third best girl, Ayase Aragaki, Kiruno's model friend, not an otaku, can be violent. Kanako Kurusu, another of Kiruno's friends who wants to be an idol. She absolutely hates otaku stuff. This one outfit she wears is cute, but it bothers me that her hair ribbons don't match. Kohei Akagi, Kyosuke's friend that he can relate to because he also has an otaku little sister he has to put up with. Sena Akagi, Kohei's little sister. She's a Fujoshi, and just like Kiruno, she keeps that secret at school. She treats people better than Kiruno, at least, and she has a skill for developing games. And several other characters, but that's a lot already. Art and animation. It looks really good. I love the colors. Why am I a little mad about it? Music and sounds. The music and voices are all good. Nothing mind-blowingly good, nothing bad, but every episode has a different ending. I really like that sort of thing. It makes me actually pay attention. Do I recommend? No. <laughs> well, okay. M maybe the first season. The ending was bad. The ending was not good. I enjoyed it up to a point. I really did. There were characters I liked, mainly Kuroneko. She's my favorite. She's the best character in the whole anime. I would fight you for her. Tell me who your favorite character is in the comments and your least favorite, because man, I couldn't stand Hirano. She's a horrible sister, a horrible friend. And she likes gross things. But when she would start like fangirling, even when it was about something that made my spine crawl, something about it was contagious. I guess it because it like makes me think of my own non-creepy interests that I've gotten really excited over. You know what I mean? She was fine when it was just about like magical girls, but that little sister stuff is... <laughs> I have siblings and cousins and stuff. I can't deal with that sort of thing. The first time I watched this anime was back when season two was a new thing. It's been a bit. Popped into my head instantly when I tried to think of anime that I would give a lower score for since I wanted to do some reviews like that. 
I'm giving it a five out of 10, which really isn't that bad. Cause like I said, I did get at least some enjoyment out of it and it looked and sounded good. I don't think I can score it too low for that. We've reached the end of the video, so I'm actually about to get crazy spoilery. This is your chance to leave now if you haven't watched it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already on your way out. Bye bye for now to you guys. They gone? Okay, they gone. So when I watched this originally, I had no idea where it was going. Like I watched Oran High School Host Club. I saw the Hitachin twins. I knew what was going on there. But there, it was just for fan service and comedy. It wasn't for serious and with how Oreimo started, I thought it wasn't for serious here either. Just fan service for weirdos, right? Just a joke. He ain't gonna end up choosing a sister. Kuroneko's right there. She's his girlfriend. He loves Kuroneko, right? Right? No? No, no, it was for serious. Kyosuke and Kuroneko break up and it's so dumb. She initiates the breakup, but it's because she knows that Kirino isn't okay with her dating her brother. That's that's when everything turned to garbage for me. Yosuke and Kirno confess and start dating and they want to get married. He rejects a couple of other girls too. There was like what, four total girls he rejects for his sister, something like that. My brain is trying to erase it again. Kuroneko, Ayase, Kanako, Manami, anyone else? He had at least four options that weren't his sister. Third best girl, Manami, confronts them and gets in an actual fight with Kirino. Punches her right in the gut. Manami's thing was that she was actually really manipulative and her main goal was to prevent Kirino and Kyosuke from falling in love, but she was very bad at it and made it worse. Kyosuke still chooses his sister no matter what. They date, they lay in a bed together, he touches her boob. They have a pretend marriage, they kiss. Someone kill me. They say they're not dating anymore and they'll return to normal siblings after the marriage. That's what they say. They, they really don't like, they're not kissing now, I think, but th they're still weird. They are not step-siblings. No one was adopted. They are not even at least cousins raised as siblings, like that thing that happened in a certain other anime review that ended up like garden garbage. I ain't talk. <laughs> Actual blood-related siblings. Full. Not even half. I've heard that in the games they made it so they're not blood-related, which is so odd but significantly better, but the games aren't canon. In the anime, they are completely related. I I'm still in agony over this. Why did I revisit this? If the anime hadn't taken that turn, I probably would have given it a 7 out of 10. It lost two whole points on this, and I lost like 200 brain cells. That's all for this video. My rant is over, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.